Hello, so here is a quick tutorial about how you can record your output from a Retroplug running LSDJ into your computer. In this case, into the doll called Ableton, because that's what I use. And um, there's this nifty video here that shows the general uh, purposes from Defense Mechanism. I believe he, yeah, I don't know if he collaborated on this project or something, but at least he has um, a keyboard control named after him, so he must have done something. Anyway, um, what you'll need is uh, an instance of uh, Retroplug BST. You can get that on um, this webpage. I will leave the link in the description. You just download the BST, put it in your BST folder, which on Windows is uh, located uh, in a custom place. You can go to Plugins and Use Custom. Uh, USB ST2 plugin custom folder on and then just browse to wherever you want to have it. I have it in my H drive, blah blah blah. Yeah, and you can do that, it's very easy. Then you load up Retroplug and uh, <clears throat> when you load it up, it will say something like double click to load a ROM or you can drag and drop a ROM. And what you drop in here is like uh, the .gb file, which is LSDJ. You can get that from the LSDJ web page. Um, let's see if I just Google LSDJ. Sound DJ, here it is. You can download it from here. Uh, ROM image um, archive, I think, and you go to no, maybe stable is where you go to. Yes, and you download uh, whichever one you want. Um, yeah, oh, there's a new one recently, I see a couple of days ago. Huh, interesting. Okay, anyway, um, once you have that set up, you can load up LSDJ and uh, it will be missing your songs from a project. So what you gotta do is you gotta go and uh, grab, uh, if you have like a save file from, for example, let's say you have a cartridge, a flash cartridge, where you've made some songs on your game board, and you want to take the songs from that place and put them onto your computer, you will have an .sav file in there somewhere on the cartridge. Um, you can put that on your computer and then you can, in here you'll have to go to uh, part, no, LSDJ, songs, Hit import or import and reset, and then you navigate to which one of these files you want. Uh, it's just one of them, <clears throat> and it will load up, and you will go in here and go like load song, and you can load the song you want. Um, anyway, um, now you that you have everything you need and you're ready to record, here's what you got to do uh, for the setup. So first of all, we have to click, right click, and go to LSDJ and hit sync and click this, MIDI sync. Um, and then we also have to go into sync in LSDJ and navigate to MIDI. And this means that now if I press play, it won't play until my DAW uh, is also playing. Um, so let's see, <clears throat> if I press play, it stops. And it stops when I stop my DAW. So that's nice, and uh, the way I record is I have four tracks right now, and uh, the inputs are a bit funny because you also need to do a setting that is in, where is it, in settings, no, it's in project and you have, go, have to go to audio, audio routing and you can select two channels per system instead of stereo mix now. And then the channels you need to record is uh, the one that's pulse one, is uh, just pre-FX whatever, one and two that comes out. Ableton is a bit weird and I don't know, maybe it's my sound card on my computer that's a bit weird. But this is like a pulse one channel, then uh, output three slash is uh, pulse two. Um, output five slash is wave and then the final one is output seven, which is the noise channel. Oops. And then you gotta enable all of these, this input monitoring if you want to hear what you're recording and also enable recording. And uh, then you uh, probably want to mute every track that is not Pulse 1 for the Pulse 1 track. Um, so what we do is we press B and space and hold space down. Oh, I mean uh, space is uh, of course start on a game board on the computer right now. So the mute function should be hold down B, press start, let go, hold down start, press B quickly and let go. That should be uh, like solo this track, Pulse 1. Uh, so now you have one track that you can hear that will be recorded onto Pulse 1, but what about the three other ones? There's a nifty trick for that as well. You can um, right click and go to project and click add system, 
duplicate selected and now you'll have an exact copy with the same setup uh, that would run in tandem with uh, the other one also in sync with me but it's still the first one that's sold so we gotta undo that so we go uh, on the second track here the pulse 2 press uh, B start and then press B start start B now it's the second track that's soloed and we press space so that it's loaded up and ready to play when we start at DAW and we do that again for each channel so we have to do this two more times so this one and it's ready to play as we can see here where it says wait I click project add system duplicate selected and I'm just going to make our solo the final channel like so and now they're all ready to go and we can just press record on our doll. It should work. So yeah, it might say some give you some weird error with uh, audio something something. I don't know if that's a Windows thing, but it did that before. Anyway, now that we have recorded these, we can play them back individually and we can mix the tracks individually. So we have this track. And that is so nice, I must say. This is a, a great thing to be able to do. Uh, and besides, you also uh, get rid of all the noise there is on most old Game Boy hardware. So um, that is how you record uh, Retroplug LSDJ uh, four tracks into your doll of choice, or at least in Ableton. It's this weird input thing that's different. You can also watch this tutorial if you're using Reaper. He has a pretty good and thorough tutorial as well. So yeah, that was it. Bye.